Good morning, afternoon, evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, activity number 13 is called Soap Bubbles. It is the first of the three coolest labs ever that we do in science, and you don't get to do it. Bummer. Um, so, sorry about that, because um, this is my favorite lab to do, like, on a Friday afternoon, and have a little bit of fun with it. Um, but, here, there, I'm here, so we'll just have I'll get to have some fun, and you can watch. All right. So, surface tension is a property of a surface of a liquid caused by cohesion of light molecules, so things that like to stick together, and it's properties of different liquids. Um, materials list, we got soapy water, we got a pizza pan, we have a straw, and the first part of the procedure is fill the pizza pan with water, which I've done, you'll see in a second. And then I'm going to try to make a biggest bubble, a bubble inside a bubble, a chain of bubbles, and a square bubble. And then I'm going to do the same experiment, but with soapy water. Okay, so um, please keep that in mind. And then working on the hypothesis that the soapy water and water are placed in a pizza pan and we're trying to blow bubbles, larger bubbles will form from probably soapy water. Okay, controlled variable is going to be the same pizza pan, the same straw, the same person making bubbles. All right, so we're getting pretty good there. And then on the back side, I'm just kind of comparing the bubbles. Okay, so I'll um, we'll switch over to my... I think I actually stopped recording for a second. So switch over my pan of water by hitting the correct button there. Here's my pizza pan, and it's full of water. And I'm going to try to blow some bubbles with my straw. And you know what? It does not work. So I am unable to blow bubbles with water. So I'm going to kind of pause my video right here and see if I can switch it out to soapy water. So I'm back. This time my tray is just a little bit wet, but I will put some soap on here. Look at my magic bubble mixture here. Here's my bubble wand. So we'll see how this goes. I might make a huge mess, or it might actually work. So I have my soapy water on here. Let's put my bubble wand back. And... So if I recall correctly, I have to make a square bubble, a bubble inside a bubble, the biggest bubble you've ever seen, and a chain of bubbles, okay? And then just a reminder that you are not allowed to burst my bubble. Right, my bubbles. And so I made a chain of bubbles. So now the next is a square bubble. And if you look carefully, I don't know if you can see it, there's a square bubble in there. There's a pentagon bubble there. Let's see if I can get it to be a square bubble. Nope. And a bubble inside a bubble. I don't know if I can do that. Let me try this again. So I'm not sure about bubble inside a bubble. I'm going to take my bubbles out here. Usually I use dish soap, so my bubble mix isn't quite as cool as my normal mix this year. All right, see how big of a bubble I can make. So it's a pretty big bubble. Um, the biggest bubbles I've ever seen are the entire size of the pizza pan. So I'm going to keep trying. One more time. I'm having lots of fun, so I'm going to pause the video until I get a nice giant bubble, and then I'll show it to you.
All right, that's the biggest bubble I got. It's about half the size of the beats pan. Um, this year, bubble mix is the actual bubble mix as opposed to my bubble mix that I make. The bubble mix I make tends to make slightly bigger, better bubbles. But anyway, that's the lab bubbles. Sorry that you missed it. Maybe in the spring we can have a bubble making fun day at some point. All right. So heading back to the lab handout then, compare soapy water to tap water and the ability to make bubbles. Soapy water is way easier. Um, were you able to make bigger bubbles with tap water or soapy water? Soapy water. More of the shape of your bubbles. Spherical. Why? Because that is actually the most efficient shape but because there are forces holding soap particles together. And then which member of your group made the biggest bubble? Obviously we can't answer that one because you're not in groups. And then how to make a square bubble that you butt it up with a bunch of other bubbles. Large bubbles form in soap water. Is a sign Soap has stronger forces. So then, I don't know, soap for soap. So, something like that for forces. Not ideal. It's a model. Models aren't perfect. All right, have a great day.